Y'all put so many reactions in that last video. I'm going to get them out to you. But we still got to get Overlord and thank out today. So let's get Matuka Sensei and Overlord knocked out the way. And I'm going to get right to them fab react videos for y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Let go. In particular, Inferior and his grandmother. Mm-hmm. The two of them are in the process of developing a new potion for me. Right, I forgot. Here, I was supposed to give this to you, Lord Ines. Oh? A potion. A new one Inferior created and asked me to pass on to you. And you forgot. Excellent. This potion is a prime example of why Inferior and his grandmother are so important. The potions of this world are blue, and no matter how high their quality may be, they deteriorate over time. By contrast, the potion I know from Yggdrasil is red and does not spoil. Inferior is currently trying to develop a potion with similar properties that does not rely on any items or skills from Yggdrasil. However, the discovery of a completely different potion is certainly an acceptable outcome as well. He is valuable enough that I would have loved to imprison him in Nazarick and have him perform his research here. After all, knowledge is power. Facts. Lord, why not do precisely that? Because earning his trust and using his gratitude to chain him will bring us greater gain in the long term than forcing him to labor for us, Lord. I'm afraid there's still one thing I'm too foolish and ignorant to understand. Forgive me for asking, but why did you give a red Yggdrasil potion to the Brita woman if they're so valuable? Brita? Come up with a lie. Explain. Well, um, Narborol's actually the one who told me about it. The incident she's referring to occurred in Eranto. Lord Ines gave a red potion to an adventurer named Britta. <laughs> I'll admit, it was a dangerous move. However, the risk was more than worth it given what I stood to gain. But, my lord, I thought you were acting simply to replace that woman's potion. Did you truly believe my motivation would be so pedestrian? Oh, of course not. I'm sorry. Inferior. I don't understand. What about him, Lord? Consider this. When a person receives a potion that they've never seen before, what are they most likely to do? Oh, I know that one. They'll ask somebody for advice about He's it. He's good at lying. That's it. Foreseen, she went to the most skilled and trusted potion maker she knew. Did she not? And what happened as a result? I came into contact with Inferia. So that's why. I see now. At last you understand. I totally bought it. <laughs> that was such a brilliant plan. This is a lie through and his teeth to them. I what to do by thinking three steps ahead of everybody else? Of course. After all, I am the ruler of the great tomb of Nazari. I soon go. Regina. The most important person in that village is Inferior. Directly behind him in value is Henry Emmett. Mm -hmm. As his love for her is a tether that keeps him there. Last is Inferior's grandmother, Lizzie. The others are of no consequence, but you must protect them. What about the little girl? Lost. Right. Now that you know my plans, you won't make the same mistake again. Failure is unacceptable. Understood? Yes, my lord. Good. Now go. Do your duty and don't disappoint me. Lord. Farewell, my lord. <laughs> Destination. They're so powerful. They'll overpower their kind if you bring them there. Yes. Okay. Go, everyone. This is laughable. It seems they tried to copy what you were building, with pathetic results. Mm. Okay, here we are. That should be their nest up there. There are no guards. How careless. It smells oh. terrible in here. A gas trap, maybe. No, it could just as easily be coincidence. A bunch of footprints. Judging by these, I would say that multiple creatures live here. And they stink. Clearly, we can't expect much intelligence from them. I hope we can at least converse. Mm. 
more August. If I could have your attention, sorry to interrupt your meal. As a welcoming committee, they leave much to be desired. Skeleton! Skeleton enemy! Aura, stand back. Kindly refrain from calling me that. I am here to see your leader, the giant of the east. Go, inform him. <laughs> well, I guess I could just wait. Drat, I may have overreacted a bit, but its hand was just so dirty. It was. A pile ogre tried to touch you. You couldn't allow that indignity. That's reassuring. Thank you. You know, Punito Moe once said, there are worse ideas than punching people to make them listen to you. Or perhaps it was more you talking to Kazuchi. Well, that's settled for that. If the Supreme Beings say so, it must be true. I don't know if those two are the best examples. <laughs> so you know his squad mates ain't shit. Eh. Remind me a couple squad mates. in this case. Although it isn't a complete lie. Is he similar in strength to Hamsky? I believe they're comparable, Lord Einstein. So about the same. Or the giant of the east? In that case, I hope I'm correct in assuming you are the demon snake of the west. Yes, I'm referring to you. The one hiding behind an invisibility spell. Concealing yourself is pointless. You may as well answer. I see. You're a Naga. A type of snake, I'll grant you that. Still, the description was misleading. Facts. You <laughs> stop through my invisibility so easily, you're no normal skeleton. Skeleton, why are you here? I am not a skeleton. Yet another inaccurate description I must see corrected. Well then, what are you? Do the mighty ruler feared throughout the eastern forest will allow you to say your name. Who? What an interesting name. <laughs> Apologies for the late introduction. I should return the favor. My name is Ein Zulgon. Oh no. Unlike me with my powerful name, you have the name of a coward. Coward? Easy, stay calm. Please, mysterious undead. These creatures believe long names signify a lack of courage. And what long names signify a lack of courage. That's so stupid. I don't think it's they do. I have a long name too, you see. I am what you call the Demon Snake of the West. My name is Riraryu Spenyai Indarun. Lord! So what business do you have with us, Weekly? I have ordered a stronghold to be constructed in the center of the forest using golems and undead. Do you know of it? Of course I know, Intruder. If it weren't for this gutless snake's way, we would have gone over there and killed you already. Now it looks like you saved us the trouble. Yes, so it would seem. Which brings me to the purpose of my visit. I've come here because I would like to negotiate with you. If you wish to live, submit yourselves to me. As if I, the mighty goo, would ever submit to a poorly named wageling. Do be careful what you say! I think first I'll make a meal of you. Then I'll move on to the small one for <laughs> dessert. <laughs> you have more than a dog, you sack of flesh. What was that? I propose a duel. Surely you, with your strong name and boundless courage, would be willing to face one you believe weak and cowardly. If you're scared, however, now is your chance to run. I'll duel you, and there will be nothing left by the time I'm finished. He Very can't bad. gauge power. That's, That's the issue. Time. Unlike Hapsky, I don't think this dude gonna live. <laughs> He's done. Like, bruh, really? The strong hold the power of life and death over the weak. However, 
I found that distasteful. He's too powerful. We must work together to defeat him. Sure. Y'all know we're near his level. Ooh, guess Hamsky, what, level 20? Two level 20s ain't beating a level 100. Now, are you finished attacking me? Well, at least he stays standing. I'll submit to you. I wish to serve you with every ounce of my being. It would be an honor to do the bidding of one with such a courageous name. The glazing is, is out of this world. All right. I did originally come here for negotiations. Have we collected data on the troll zone yet? A magic weapon. It may be useful for increasing the power of an individual from the village. Do you have subordinates? A troll would be nice. I do have one, great lord. Most excellent. In that case, we can use them as a substitute, although it may be difficult to obey. Dintoma. Yes, Lord Ives. I received a report from the Miss Regina. Excellent. It seems she's passed the first test. Also, she has requested permission to enter the bathroom. Granted. She is to do whatever is necessary. I want her to protect those three with her life. So he made a mock attack then. Just to test her. Like I say, I love Overlord, bro. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I gotta get to some of your fan react videos and Rudius. So. I'm outie.